As a Blackboard course builder, one of our responsibilities is making sure that we present content in a way that engages people and invites them to interact with our content. It's one of the ways that we make sure that they are actually getting the information that they need. So we present that in an organized way, but sometimes adding visual appeal or making it present right in front of them is one way to just engage them and make sure they're getting the information. So we're gonna do something called embedding a file. Now embedding a file is a slightly more technical skill, but I promise in just a few moments, you'll be able to do the same things that I'm doing to make your content pop inside a Blackboard. So let's go ahead and get started with embedding a file. So here you can see an example of an embedded file. I have a Google document that I like to update, and that is really where I'm making all the changes in the content. What you're looking at here on screen is just a window out to my Google document that I update. And inside of that Google document, I've got text and I have images and I'd like them to appear inside of my Blackboard course. And that's where an embedded document comes into play. So how do we go about creating one? Well, let's go down to our testing area here inside of my new learning module. And I am going to click the plus button. Once again, we're gonna use create and we're gonna create a document. Embedded Google file. Now before we were using add content, but in this case, we're gonna use HTML. And you don't need to be a coder to understand how to add HTML to your course. So let's click add HTML. It is now waiting for our HTML code to embed. But where do you get that from? So let's go over to my uh, Google document in process here. I have a Google document that I'd like to embed. First things first, I want to make sure that I have shared my Google document with the right audience so anybody in the course can view it. Generally, anyone with the link is the best avenue, or you could share it with specific staff if need be. All right, so now that it's shared, we're going to, while in the Google document, click on this series, File, Share, Publish to the Web. And I'll zoom in here on that. Now you can publish as a link, but in this case, we're looking for the HTML code, so we're going to use embed. We're then going to select publish. Are you sure you want to publish? Yes, I do. And it's going to give me this code. I don't understand what this code exactly means, but I am going to copy it. So in this case, I'm command C copy. Now let's go back to my Blackboard class. I am going to paste that code in and simply select save. At first, it's going to take just a moment to load. And then you can see that content starts to come in here. So great, I have actually embedded the file. Everything is successful. Unfortunately, the way that Blackboard reads that embed file doesn't quite present it in the way that I'd like it to be visible to our viewers. So we're gonna to have to go one step further. To add embed code, and I'm just gonna show you the directions here. To make that content just a little bit bigger, you're going to ha have to add a very specific bit of code yourself. And that code is right here. It is width equals, and then all of the way that it is here, right? Single parenthesis, 100%, uh, single parenthesis, space, height equals, parenthesis, 1000. All right. Now, those are customizable, but you'll notice that you're going to take and copy that. And that's something I'd even recommend in having on a post it near your computer. And you're going to add it into that code right here. So it'll read iframe and you'll paste the code in where it's green there and it will end up looking something like this. So let's use that. I'm going to copy that content and we're going to go back to my embedded Google file. We're going to go in and click edit. We're going to edit again. There is my code. 
Okay, so I know that it needs to go between iframe and source. I'm going to give it a little bit of space here. I'm going to paste it with equals, and there's my 100% and 1,000. I have another space here. Let's try that and click Save. There's what we're looking for. It's a full screen view, and it makes it really accessible, just like you were looking at a Google Doc. The beauty of this is, when I make changes over on this Google Doc, while not immediate, those changes will, will show up here the next time that I sign in and select that. So let's close that there. We'll close that there. And a little bit later on, that change will be updated. I'll only need to update it in one place. So that is how we go about adding an embedded file, making it custom sizes so that it presents itself well, and making it accessible to our viewers.